Amaz, it's nice to see you out here once again. Good to see you as well. Yes. So, okay, I'm going to start off by asking you. Last year, and we were just talking about it with Sean, that match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 39, what was that experience like for you to go out there, SoFi Stadium, perform in front of that huge crowd, and then also wrestle somebody like Brock Lesnar? Man, it was it was surreal because at first when the, when the uh, idea came to fruition, I thought I was being ribbed, but it turned out <laughs> it was actually going to happen. And, you know, Brock is... Um, such an intimidating figure. I don't think people, unless you've been around him, people don't truly really understand. He has just an aura around him, and it is very easy for you to get shaken by his aura. And he's not trying to be that way, he's just how he is and how he carries himself. And I think I, I, I had to tell Bobby Lash last year, and um, Braun Strowman, I said, Me feeling with you guys the year prior got me ready for Brock. Like, you know, all those matches this few I did with Bobby being on, the, being on the road every week, wrestling him, and then, you know, going to perform in Saudi Arabia with, with, with Braun. I said, if I didn't have all that, I would not be ready to face Brock. And then going to face Brock was just the icing on the kick. Like, it was just, it, for the first time, it felt as if it was just him and I in the ring. I could not hear the, I could not hear the audience. It was just me and him. Like, I had never had that feeling until that moment. It was just me and him in the ring. I could, like, it almost felt like I could hear his heartbeat. It was that quiet in there. Yes. Wow. How did you feel about your performance? Like going back and watching the match, like what was like your thoughts? Because you know, it's one thing to like live it and then rewatch it because then you get like a new perspective on it. So I'm pretty hard on myself. So I watch it, I'm like, I could have done this better, I could have done that better. But you know, being in the moment, I would never forget that one for the rest of my life. That is probably one of the biggest matches I've had in my whole career. All right, my last question for you is Royal Rumble. Oh, man, you've been in a Rumble before. Uh, I'm hoping you're in this year's Rumble. I don't know. Hoping. I've been hoping. Fingers crossed. What is the experience like to be in a ring with all of these guys? And, I mean, oh, you're towering above all of them, but let's be, let's be real. But what is it like? I mean, it's pretty amazing. You know, I, I love the surprises of the Rumble because you never know who's going to come out. And just the fact that we're all trying to – and eliminate each other and trying to choose the last man standing just makes it a lot of fun and something that at all the performers we all enjoy being part of this like we, we, we love this. this is i think this is probably our favorite pay-per-view of the year yeah it's awesome i love to see it Omas, thank you so much for chatting with me today it's always a pleasure to chat with you thank you so much all right everyone we'll catch you guys on the next one thank you so much